hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really do appreciate your time so i wanted to briefly talk about this conversation that we oftentimes see on social media that i personally run into quite often is this idea that men in particular are very big on having peace as a way for women to be able to kind of hack men or understand men better is to understand that men prefer their peace and as long as you're providing a man with peace you don't have him you know you won't lose him and you know this whole kind of thing i just wanted to kind of push back on this notion because whenever i see this conversation being had i see a lot of people kind of just agreeing with you know whatever meme or you know post that indicates this as you know a simple fact that a lot of women miss um however i personally do not agree with this 100 i mean of course to an extent i i do but I feel like there is an aspect of this conversation that is lacking the nuance needed to really distinguish the types of men that are big on peace and that all they care about is peace is because those men are very different from what we would consider the average guy. So if we're talking about men where peace is their ultimate goal in life, right? Having a balanced life, you know, stability, coming home, there's not a lot of tension there's not a lot of fighting you know there's love flowing you know in both directions the children are happy the children are taken care of things in the house are the way they're supposed to be and generally speaking everyone is happy and satisfied if we're talking about men where that is important to them specifically married men then those men are making certain choices that has created that environment so we're not talking about men who have side chicks. We're not talking about men who abuse their wives. We're not talking about men who neglect their children. We're not talking about men who run away, who abandon their families and their responsibilities. Men who are not held accountable. Uh, men who are irresponsible with money. We're not talking about those kind of men. Again, a man who is very interested in peace is, not, is, is going to be doing peaceful things. <laughs> He is going to be doing things that cause the environment to be peaceful, right? So he's not going to be doing things that stress out the people in his life, including himself. He's not going to be doing things that bring dysfunction and, and depression and, uh, you know, stress and all of these sort of things that we look at as the opposite of peace. What I find a lot of times when we're having these conversations is, You'll have a bunch of men in the comment section like yeah you know yeah you know he, he right he right and it's like okay but it always leaves me to wonder out of how many of those men that are agreeing with this notion are men who have actually done the work necessary to foster the peace that they're saying is so important to them that is very very different from the kind of man who does the opposite of creating peace and then still expects it. And so this brings me to kind of the point that I really wanted to make, the kind of the whole point of this video, in particular, how it affects the black community, because that's always gonna be my main concern, is a lot of times when you hear not only men, but women too, preaching this message of, well, no matter what, be, be a man's peace is because a lot of times it goes back to the same you know ongoing conversation in the black community about how black men in particular have been demonized they've been beat down the man has held them down for years you know they can't do this they can't do that you know there's a lot of excuses and while some of those are definitely valid those excuses should not provide innocence to black men regarding their choices far as their home life in general right because the black community is made up of individual homes so we're talking about men and women who have gotten together and had more children and then those children got together with another man or another woman and then they had children so that's what the black community is a bunch of small individual uh immediate families mommy daddy kids so if that is what the black community consists of if within the black community there are a lot of children who experience abandonment, uh, neglect, abuse, uh, violence, that is going to absolutely impact those future children 
as well as how that child is growing up at that particular time, right? So if a child is seeing their father mistreating them and their mother, they're going to carry that with them. That, that, that damage, that trauma is going to stay with them. Unfortunately, one bad father can go on to affect a lot of other people, just like one good father can go on to affect a lot of people. A lot of times what we do in a black community to excuse the, you know, the way a lot of black men have not taken responsibility and been responsible fathers and husbands is we layer it, or should we say we kind of throw the social, economical, you know, disparities and adversity of racism on top of it. And we sprinkle it on top and we say, oh, the reason why my dad wasn't a good dad is because of racism. Oh, the reason why black men aren't good fathers sometimes is because of racism. Oh, the reason why they don't, you know, have the money they can have to really support their family financially is because of racism. We kind of, every, every turn, every, every, every kind of issue that we're having in the black community that involves a black man not doing what he's supposed to do, we tend to say, well, it's because of racism. It's because of the man. And so in turn... How a lot of black women have over the years coped with that is thinking that they can create an environment in the home, this whole be your peace mentality that will counteract what he experiences at work or, or wherever else he's at, right? And that's absolutely powerful and that's absolutely noble in the kind of genesis of that pursuit, right? That's absolutely something to aspire to do. So what we don't really pay attention to is not every man, in particular every black man, is, is deserving of it. Not every black man has invested peace in his home, has provided an environment where peace can be, you know, overflowing, where peace can really abound because he is providing strife. He is providing instability. He's providing abuse. He's providing violence. Say I'm holding a bowl. And I put abuse, disrespect, gaslighting, neglect, abandonment, fatherlessness, shaming. If this is what I'm constantly feeding my family, how am I going to come home and expect peace? I mean, someone help me understand how that is even possible and listen whether you're a christian or you are not reaping what you sow is a universal principle it's the law of the land that's why we can see the nature demonstrated in nature what you if you plant apple seeds you're going to get an apple tree if you plant peace if you invest peace if you do things that are that that foster peace then you're going to have peace but if you're doing things that foster dysfunction and pain and strife and resentment, how can you expect to have peace? And so I think as black women, what we can do in these situations is be very selective with the kind of men that we try to hold on to and, and push and lift up. Because again, not every man deserves it. And there are men in the black community who have not fostered peace. They have not invested peace. They haven't given their children peace. They haven't given the women that they've had sex with peace. They've given them pain. They've given them baggage. And so if you're one of these men that when whenever you see this meme, it's like a like a you know very popular quote that a man will rest his head where he finds peace and not where he finds beauty <laughs> if that's if that's something that you feel is is you know reflected upon you and you have taken this kind of mindset as into oh that's why my relationships to all these women never worked because i ain't found peace yet well sir possibly the reason why you haven't found peace in any of your relationships is because you're not giving peace. You're not creating peace. You're not investing peace. You're doing things that would only result in a stressful, 
uh, dysfunctional, strenuous, negative environment. And I'll see a lot of times when this gets shared in marriage groups, I'll see men using this as an excuse as to why men have cheated in their marriages. And that that lets me that leads me to believe that a lot of men don't actually understand what peace is. A lot of men think that peace is 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 being in an environment where you're not challenged or you're not held accountable or you know you're basically able to do whatever you feel like doing and there's no real consequences in the end. And if that's what peace is to you, that's <laughs> you don't understand peace. You don't you don't understand the function of peace. You don't understand what peace fundamentally is. What you're looking for is to escape. What you're looking for is to avoid accountability for your actions, and that is not peace. That is not what peace is. That is not the function of peace. For example, if you're having issues in your marriage, and you're fighting with your wife a lot. You're not having sex and just everything just seems to be wrong. And your way of finding peace is to go and get a side chick. Well, sir, you're not looking for peace. You're not looking for peace. And the fact that you would be the type of man to do that is exactly why you don't have the peace in your home that you think you're entitled to. That is why I think this conversation is very misleading and dishonest. Because like I said, there are a lot of men who do not have peace in their lives because they don't do things that would bring forth peace. They do things that would bring forth stress that will cause a lot of arguments and, 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 and drama. And this idea that changing the woman you're with is going to completely cause you to have different results it's kind of immature lastly i just wanted to say that men that really care about peace that are mature that have wisdom that have life experiences they want their wives to be at peace they want their girlfriend to be at peace they want their children to be at peace they want whoever they're in constant fellowship with to have peace because they understand that sowing peace will cause them to reap peace. If I do things that make you feel loved, protected, safe, that are calming, that are soothing, that disarm you, you're going to reciprocate. And in most cases, that is exactly what happens. Those are those men that you look at them and whether they're grandfathers or they're just uncles or, you know, or they're just, you know, out here doing the best they can. But everyone has something good to say about them. Everyone praises their name. And not based off of material things, but everyone genuinely who, who comes into fellowship with them speak positively about them because they have provided peaceful environment so again if as a man you feel like you have no peace in your life and that all the women you deal with stress you out and just want to argue with you your baby mom is out of control or whoever you're with your children are that's probably because you sue those seeds your behavior has caused you to not have that's all I have to say. Please comment below if you are feeling what I'm saying. And if you're not, just please keep it respectful. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bells. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this topic. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.